Welcome back to Exchange Server Storage option. Exchange Server supports various hardware technology for disk storage, which includes SATA drives, SSD drives, SCSI, SAS disk, and iSCSI drives. So you have to keep in mind when you select the storage solution to use, your goal is to ensure that the storage will provide the performance that your environment requires. However, Exchange Server enables you to use slower, less expensive disk and storage system without any significant decrease in the performance and it is recommended to use direct attached storage that is DAS consisting of SSD and SAS disk. So let's see what is DAS. You can say the DAS is a any disk system that is physically connected to your server. This includes hard disk inside the server and those that are connected to the server via an external enclosure. Some external enclosure include hardware based RAID. For example, external disk enclosure can combine multiple disks in a RAID 5 set that appears as a single large disk on the server. In general, DAS provide good performance but it provides limited scalability because of the unit's physical size. And also DAS provides the following benefits that is lower cost solution. DAS usually has a substantially lower purchase cost than the other technologies. Other one is easy implementation. DAS is easy to manage and require a very little kind of training. Distributed failure points. Each exchange server has separate disk system. So the failure of a single system doesn't affect the entire exchange messaging system. And the another option is SAN called storage access network. Basically SAN is dedicated to providing servers with access to storage devices. And SAN provides advanced storage and management capabilities such as data snapshot, high performance. And SAN uses either fiber channel switching or iSCSI to provide fast and reliable connectivity between the storage and applications. And fiber channel switching or iSCSI allow many servers to connect to a single SAN. And SANs are complex and required specialized knowledge to design, operate and maintain. And most of the SANs also are more expensive than the DAS options. SAN provide the following benefit such as highly scalable as your need expands. A SAN allow you to add disk to your storage. So most SAN incorporate storage virtualization inside them and this allow you to add disk and allocate the new disk to your exchange server. Multiple server attached. If you are using a SAN, you can connect multiple computers that run exchange server and then divide the storage among them. Enhanced backup. SANs uses volume mirroring and snapshot backups because SANs allow multiple connection and you can connect high performance backup device to the SAN. And it also allow you to designate different rate levels to different storage partitions. For cost conscious SAN implementations, iSCSI might be the good option because an iSCSI network encapsulate iSCSI command in TCP IP packets over the standard Ethernet cabling and switches. And you should implement this technology only on the dedicated storage network that are 1 gigabit per second or more faster than this. Storage consideration for exchange. In exchange 2019, due to the new database architecture, disk IO is further reduced as compared to the previous version of exchange server. And this enable you to use less expensive and slower disk for the data. So if you combine the storage with SSD drive for caching, that will optimize the performance without using the expensive disks. If you talk about the disk types, Exchange 2019 continues to support less expensive and the slower types of disk storage such as JBOD. In previous Exchange version, JBOD was the only type of storage that was recommended for the preferred Exchange architecture. However, even though mailbox and disk got larger, JBOD disk does not lose their latency. Therefore, with Exchange 2019, uh, it is recommended to use tiered storage uh, by using both SSD and JBOD drives. If an organization uses only JBOD and not the SSD, Exchange 2019 will use JBOD drives in similar manner as Exchange Server 2016. However, if uh, you are using SSD together with JBOD, Exchange Server 2019 will achieve maximum performance by using the MCDB feature. So when planning the storage requirement for your exchange server deployment, you should consider the following facts. 
replicated database copies increase the amount of storage space required. If your organization uses DAX to replicate mailbox databases for high availability, consider the number of database copies when you calculate how much disk space you need and what it costs. Use SSD drives combined with JBoard. Make a note of this. The ratio of SSDs to spinning disk is 1 is to 3, where SSD will store a maximum of 10% of, of key data in a metacache database. Memory used by database is automatically allocated. In Exchange Server 2019, memory used by the database is automatically allocated from passive to active mailbox database copies. In this way, passive copies do not waste memory because no users are connected to them, whereas active copies have an increased amount of memory that result in a better performance. Indexes are now stored in a user mailboxes. Slower disk cost much less per GB than the faster disk. Now the reduced disk input output requirement of Exchange Server means that large capacity disks are suitable for the many organizations. DAS is less expensive than a SAN. You can consider JBoard if you have three or more replicas of a database in a DAG. Some organizations have a significant investment in SANs for all server storage. Use RAID to increase the redundancy of the disk system if there are less than 4 database copies in a DAG. MCDB in Exchange Server 2019 MCDB is a new feature in Exchange Server 2019 and it utilizes the solid state disk to facilitate the DAG acceleration and it stores the copies of index data, mailbox folder structure and small email items on SSD drives which results in a faster sign-in, search and retrieval of small items. MCDB feature together with the index search and dynamic cache functionalities provide the following benefits. Index are stored in the database and copied to the metacache database. Content and indexes are stored in the database. There are no separate index for that each database copy. The active mailbox database copy creates the index and replicate it to the passive database copies. Lower performance cost and reduced CPU usage because the index is created only once and then replicated. Reduced memory, 50% faster search and logon and less input outputs. It can provide you 2 to 3 times faster mail access and 20% more user load possible on the same server as compared to the previous Exchange Server version. So this was the MCDB, the new feature in Exchange Server 2019. So let's meet in our next lesson, Configuring Exchange Server Mailbox Databases and Storage.